Okay, here's our next Did You Know program. I want to talk about shoulders, rotator cuff tears, uh, surgical re repaired shoulders, and shoulders that need to be surgically repaired, um, just weaknesses in the arms and shoulders. But let's talk about a perspective. And many people out there that have those kinds of conditions think, well, my, talk to my doctor. He said the only thing I do now is surgery, and so that's what I'm set up to do. Well, let me give you another possibility. And by the way, most often we find the reverse process with that. If we have a chance to work with our shoulders and correct the problem, we have a chance to go back to a natural state of function. Let me explain what's actually going on with shoulders oftentimes and see why we even think we can even approach that kind of a problem. First of all, rotator cuff problems or frozen shoulders are due to muscles that make up the shoulder girdle. There's actually six muscles. They're called sits muscles. They're muscles that actually work together to let the rotation and the movement in the shoulder all happen. As long as every one of those muscles does its job well, you have a rotation and a normal function within that muscle, within that shoulder. The problem comes when one or more than one of those muscles is torn or damaged or other things that go on that we find is actually poor nerve supply, poor blood supply, just a weakened muscle in one of those muscles that don't allow this process to continue itself. So how we approach it in our office, I use a process called kinesiology. We're also concerned about chiropractic, dealing with nerve supply. We're also involved with myofascial release. We also use a cold laser to repair tissue in our office. So we use those processes to make the shoulder come back to its natural state of function. So here's our approach. The first approach is, first of all, take pressure off the nerve supply. Why? Muscles have to communicate. How they communicate is with nerve supply going to each one of the muscles. So as we check all those six muscles, any one that's not has a full range of motion or the strength that it should have, we now determine why is that. As we determine that, we begin to correct that. We get the nerve supply back to that muscle, we get the range of motion back to that muscle, or as insertion points are picked up, the meridian flows are now reinstituted as well. We can do a myofascial release to clear the fascia in the area. We use cold laser to actually strengthen the muscles. As we do that, we start to pick up, picking up ranges of motion. As we do that, we start realizing, oh, now, which muscle is now, is, is now doing its job to a certain point and which muscle is not. So we have an opportunity to actually watch the body as we work through those processes to get better and see the changes each and every visit. As we come into that process with people, we ask them for four visits. By the first visit, you're actually going to notice if there's a change or not. We see a strength, we see a less, less pain, better function, we know we're on the right trail. By the third and fourth visit, we should see significant changes in both pain reduction, first of all, and second of all, on movement and function. So if you're out there with a rotator cuff concern or tear or muscle weaknesses just in the shoulder or, again, just pain and or a frozen type of a shoulder, consider the possibilities. Again, if we decide, you decide to make, the, make this choice and try this, this possibility, You'll see a change within a short visit. If you don't, you stop there and you do something a little more um, into the system, a little difficult, more, or, um, a little more challenging in the system with the surgical procedure. Remember, all surgeries after that, you still have to do a rehab program. Wouldn't it be nice to do a rehab program as you heal the muscle group and not excrete the scar tissue necessary for, that come from sur surgeries? So consider the possibility. And if something think you'd like to talk about or actually look at, give me a call. If not, you might even be the point you want to make actually an appointment. Make an appointment. Come in. Try a visit or two, up to four. By fourth visit, we don't make a major change and you're not happy with the success, success, we'll stop at that point. It's very affordable and it works. Look forward to hearing your call. Take care.